August uh, 21st, 1986, the crater Lake, Na Lake Nios uh, experienced a limnic eruption, uh, releasing 80 million cubic meters of uh, CO2 gas, carbon dioxide, uh, killing over 1,700 uh, people and 3,500 livestock. Now, the uh, Lake Nios is situated on top of a dormant uh, volcano, and uh, the magma is still uh, forming underneath the volcano, and that magma is uh, producing CO2 gas, which leaches up into the bottom of the lake. And because that uh, CO2 gas uh, isn't able to uh, release into the atmosphere, it, uh, it just accumulates and accumulates until it reaches a point of supersaturation. And when it reaches supersaturation, it just gets released into a sudden eruption, which is what I'm going to demonstrate for you right now. This uh, balloon is representing the uh, 80 million cubic meters that uh, accumulated into the bottom of uh, Lake Nios and my, the water, my uh, muddy water here in uh, the jar here is representing Lake Nios itself. Now, notice uh, the uh, level at which my water is at right now. Now, when this uh, eruption occurred like that it released all the CO2 gas that was building up and building up to the point of supersaturation in the uh, hypolimnia and when that was released because uh, CO2 gas is heavier than um, than air itself oxygen it's more dense so all that CO2 gas didn't just get released and uh, dispersed into the atmosphere. What it did was it just kind of crept up over the uh, rim of this crater lake and it crept down towards the uh, villages of Cha, Nios, and uh, Subang, uh, which killed everyone. Next, uh, I'd like to demonstrate uh, the asphyxiating uh, effects of CO2 gas. I'm just going to light my candles. I've got a small candle, a medium sized candle, and a large candle. And what we're going to use, we're going to perform an uh, acid base reaction, which is going to produce the CO2 gas for us. Okay, that's the vinegar. And here's my baking soda, which is the base. There's one, and that douse all the flames because because the flame needs oxygen and because I poured my CO2 gas into my container here it uh, it just asphyxiated the flame um, and because the uh, the the CO2 gas is heavier than than air it displaced all the air that was in my container and doused all my flames and that is my presentation. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.